right guys and as you can see this is 700 rpm here and this is uh, not a very high feed rate but the finish is very fine at this point uh, hoping you guys can really get a good look at that and see what it's what it's actually doing to the surface there it's actually a very fine finish considering the uh, the low cost of the end mill itself there's, there's a better angle I think it's, it's probably picking it up a little better in the camera I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and mark it right here so that I can see exactly where I stopped my previous pass that way I can go ahead and make all these consistent finishes So guys, once again, pretty impressed by the cutting finish here. This is uh, it's pretty nice actually. Let's take a look at this. All right guys, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a tear out right there looking like. A little bit of a, a rough finish right there, but other than that, man, the finish is really good. The smoothness can't be overlooked. I don't know whether this is a smoother finish or the 700 RPM is a smoother finish, but they're providing similar results. But to, me, to my finger, they both feel about the same. We've gone ahead and upped our RPM at this point to 2400 RPM. Okay guys, now this is that uh, 2400 RPM spindle speed and just visually to me this looks slightly rougher. You can kind of see it's a little bit more fuzzy. That's not just sawdust guys, that's your actual surface finish. So it's possible that the higher we go in the RPM the, uh, the poorer of a smoothness we're going to end up with. Let's go ahead and drop the spindle just a little bit more and then we will up our spindle RPM to 4,000 RPM, no, excuse me, 4,700 RPM. So we are really at the top of this machine's capacity as far as RPM is concerned at this point. She is humming, boys. That is moving right now. 4,700 RPM. guys you can really see that same effect that we saw previously little bit fuzzier of a finish than that 700 rpm level um, just to go ahead and showcase the difference I'm gonna go ahead and face one at 700 rpm and then and then uh, put this one right next to it and we'll go ahead and compare the difference between the two Listen to the difference spindle speed wise. You can hear the difference so much between 700 and 4700. 4000 RPM makes a huge difference in the pitch of the machine.
that's nice guys visually just just visually in the vise still I can see a difference in the surface between this nice 700 rpm surface that we cut and the more quickly cut aggressive surface finish of the uh, of the 4700 rpm let's go ahead and take a close look all right guys 4700 700 that is super nice that is smooth guys all right guys that's going to go ahead and wrap up the comparison that i have between the four speeds here on the drill press mill that i've been using for these cringy machinist videos as you can see here we tested it at all four of its rpms and we just made our adjustments via the standardized drill press pulley system that you would find on most adjustable speed drill presses I've never really tried to mess with any uh, any wood as far as a material to put underneath this before. So seeing what the different RPMs do under a standardized half inch square end mill, just a high speed basic end mill, really kind of an interesting thing to see the results. Especially for someone like me who has little to no experience and little to no skill at any type of real machining or milling or anything like that. I'm kind of just learning as I go and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the process of checking it out with me. Got a whole little box here of cutting tools to go ahead and review in future episodes. So if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that bell notification so that you can stay current on what's going on on the channel as well as when other videos come out. If you really like this content, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.